everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is another episode of Craft or Crap. And it is up to you to decide whether or not what I make is craft or crap. And I am doing this with Chaz. Be sure to check her out at Chaz's Crazy Creations. She's gonna do her own version and you can give her feedback as to whether hers is craft or crap too. Be sure to head over to Facebook and join our Facebook group so that you can add your ideas on what items we should use in our next project. And if you'd like to craft along with us, we'd love to see what you come up with. This time it was 4th of July and it was suggested that we use wooden spoons, incorporate that into our projects. So that's what we're doing. I ordered these wooden spoons off of Amazon. I'll have a complete list of what I used down in the description below. I went shopping for paint to work on this project. And these are the ones I found. And I have these stars and I'm gonna paint them each red, white, and blue. But before that, I'm just gonna use a white acrylic paint to give them like a little base. So I have the true colors coming through. I have the first coat of everything painted and I'm gonna take Mod Podge, just the regular Mod Podge, paint the stems, cause we need a little sparkle on the 4th of July. I'm gonna take some silver glitter and just put it right on there. Okay, and we'll put this aside to dry and continue to do that on the other ones. Now we get to start working with these paints. I cannot wait. Look at that, it's sparkling already. And now I finally get to put the stuff together. These are the glitter paints that I used. Now here's how the stars turned out. I love it. I love how the paints shimmer. Here's the blue and here's the holographic. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So I painted the tops of the spoons coordinating colors and I did add a layer of the glitter paint to there. And I did that so that if you see the edge, it's not gonna stick out like a sore thumb. It's not gonna look like a wooden spoon. Okay, so putting these together, I'm gonna put it right on the edge where the, the spoon kind of goes in so that I can actually get contact with the hot glue. We'll do this with the red. Flip it over. And I'll do the same here. I have these red, white, and blue ribbons, which I am going to add as kind of little streamers. But I'm gonna cut ribbon at varying lengths. My ribbons are a different width, but that's only because I couldn't find the white in the same width as the red and the blue. All I need to do is glue on the ribbon. Then I'm gonna flip them over and do it on the other side too. So it's nice and full. I have this old pickle jar that's been in my craft room forever. I was gonna fill it with sand to do this, but I thought, hey, let's take it up a notch and Fill it with glass beads, which I also happen to have in my craft room. And before we do that, because they're glass beads, this will look super cool if we add some fairy lights. So I'm gonna just put fairy lights in there in a random-ish way. Add some more fairy lights, add the white. and the rest of the fairy lights, including the little controller, and add the rest. Then you can tuck this like right in the middle or someplace where it won't be super noticeable, okay? But then it lights up. Look at the jar lights up, how cool is that? And then we take our little wands, work them in there, there's the red, Oops, the white and the blue. And then you can turn it on and off at will and then cover it up with some of your beads or push it down in there further. You won't even see that. Look at that, super cute. There, now you can see it better lit up. Let's see, let's turn it off. Let's turn it back on. I think they turned out super cute and I hope you like them too, but it's not for me to decide, it's up to you. And remember, the basis of this challenge is craft or crap. 
You decide and you let us know if our projects are a craft or if they're crap. Go down into the comments, do that. And when you're done with my video, go over and check out Chaz's and let her know if her project was craft or crap. And if you decide to take part in this challenge and make a craft using wooden spoons for the 4th of July, we would love to see it. So be sure to tag us over on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you might be sharing it with us. Um, and we'd love it if you shared it in our Facebook group. And that link is down in the description below. But tag us and also use the hashtag craft or crap. So thanks for stopping by. And remember, life's too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye.